The intellectual level can only take a certain point, to a certain point. Then you have to cross into the spirit level. And the spirit level takes a little bit of confidence in the stuff around you. Because you don't have religious doctrine and other things to go by. It's only your own experience in these particular things. See what's coming on here? And so what's going to happen here is, is now your powers are coming back. We'll go into all of that. But you're going to have to pay attention to very small things. And those small things you pay attention to is going to be the things that's going to help you in this particular power. First thing you got to do is, number one, is this. You got to get out of the fear of what this white man going to do to you. What I'm saying is this. Because part of the Afrocentric community, part of the metaphysical community is you come in and you get all this stuff of what's going to happen to you and what will happen to black people. Well, dead black people, shit happens daily. Deal with it. What can you do? they dead. But when it comes to your conscious self, whenever you contemplate what's going to happen to you, you give this white boy power and you might invoke those things on you and you're protected from that. Perfect. See what I'm saying? Now this is the key. This is the key. And this is why the brother C. Freeman L., the master, he told us, he, he would say things 10, 15 years ago, 10, 13 years ago, that is just not coming true. But that's a true master. When he first hit you, just passed up, oh, you know, whatever. This nigga crazy. Old ass nigga, you know. But <laughs> years later, the stuff comes true. So he used to tell us back in 1990 and 1994, quit talking about the white man and complaining about the white man and giving the white man power. You see what I'm saying? Now, you get people coming for you with doom and gloom. And what that does, it cuts your power base because guess what? The white boy ain't got no power. He's run out of power. His power is fear. If he can get you to believe he's still in power, he can delay your fucking power. Shit. See what I'm saying? He ain't got no power. You see? Nigga getting caught spending $80,000 on prostitutes. Right. He's in a mess. She ain't got no power. <laughs> you see. Now, so the key here is that you got to get out of this fear. That's all he got. Case in point, King Alpha plan. I used to use it too. Till I found out it was put out by the United States government. And they gave it to the black community. And give you a dossier, a lineup of what they're going to do to you. And you put this shit in your psyche. And guess what? They never have to execute none of that concentration camp and none of that shit. Because they know the rule. The rule is that the vices is in the body that will come online immediately when the race is threatened for extinction. Now that's the, that's the, the stuff that the, the East Indian government found out in 1975 when they put this, when they started studying the chakras and the kundalini. And they, basically what they did is they had, a gov they had the government come in and give a grant or allocate funds to study this. And the conclusion was that the chakras, the kundalini, the third eye, and all of this stuff, when you are threatened for extinction, these things come online and you become a Superman. It's called Firestarter. Remember the movie Firestarter, the little Drew Barrymore? Start burning up shit. You see what I'm saying? So the key here is, is to never come in with an army and line you up to go to concentration camps. But the mystery here is, is to let you think that you're going to a concentration camp and keep the fear on him of you because you still think he's all powerful. And everything he ever does to you is covert. What can he do to you that he ain't already did to you? See what I'm saying? So the King Alpha plan was put out by the government for you to respond to so that you can have a fear. He can't do nothing. You see? See what I'm saying? If you know what time it is and stuff, I, I'm lonely for action. I'm like, I wish a motherfucker would come up in my space. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You 
see. But I, I know what, what I'm capable of doing. You see? What I'm capable of doing. So the fit, we got to get out of this fear that all this stuff is going to be done to us. Don't you know when they do shit to you, they never announce it? First of all, the King Alpha Plan was taken from a damn novel that some white boy wrote that the government said, hey, this is some good shit right here. It was a fucking sci-fi novel. And they made it policy and they said, put it out to the black community to keep them in fear. They can't do shit. You see what I'm saying? That's what time it is. And our magic is stronger now. Fuck around and they be walking around with little small heads. <laughs> the only reason why I don't execute this stuff now is because I don't have time. <laughs> and I'm too damn lazy. <laughs> but like I said, in order to get this magic to work, you can't succumb to the fear of what the government gonna do to you. They can't do nothing. The magic now here is, is to convince you that they can do shit to you. They started it with the King Alpha plan. They knew damn well they couldn't come against you and line you up for concentration camp because you got devices in the body that will come online. You see, remember Farrakhan said in the 1975 power, 1985 power tour, if your slave go to war with you, we will win. That's because you got that many people coming online. I saw a Katrina when T.D. Jakes and the preachers was headed up to here. And for one minute they became men. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And so when your boy, Kanye West, said that Bush don't like black people, Bush got him back now. He killed his mama because of this shit. Yeah. But he stood up. When he said Bush don't like black people, they said, oh, call in the agents. And they called up T.D. Jakes. <laughs> but T.D. Jakes had seen how people being left out there for five days, and, and that shit was not even that whole, we shall overcome shit, and we are the world. None of that shit was hitting. <laughs> the best was all black people woke up for about a week with Katrina. I mean, dead black people. And they called and said, what about Kanye West saying this? He said, well, that's the going view with most of the black people in this community when you leave people out there for seven days or five days. What? He said, don't tell me I had people out there in less than 24 hours. You left them out there on purpose. This is T.D. Jakes. You see what I'm saying? So my point here is there's events that you can be confronted with that you could come online. And there's several metabolic um, endorphins in your body that make you into Superman. 